I know a child called Aruha. Warm of heart, broad of smile, dark of hair, wild as wind from the great southern isle. She runs through the long grass, skips in the leaves that waltz with the wind through the bare autumn trees. She'll sing, and she'll dance, and she'll hug, and she'll play, for that is Aroha's way. But now and then, Aroha feels troubled, all alone, small and meek, sometimes frozen with fear, too frightened to speak. When her belly tumbles with butterfly wings, or she's held fast where she stands by invisible strings, or that little voice whispers, Aroha's no good. Or another voice says, she shouldn't, or should. Aroha knows what to do. She runs and jumps. She tumbles and spins, till those butterflies quiet their fluttery wings. Then she'll breathe deep down, as deep as she can, and blow away those strings holding her fast where she stands. And when that voice comes whispering, Aroha's no good, she'll feel the cold air, crisp leaves underfoot, the sound of birdsong, the wind through the woods. She'll listen, she'll feel, Close her eyes, give a smile, and the voice will grow quiet for a while. And if that voice says that she shouldn't or should, when she's stuck at the fork in the road through the woods, she'll share her troubles, she'll talk, she'll find her way home. For Aroha is never alone.